Hi everybody! I wanted to wish you a happy new year and to celebrate, I was going to give you my top product picks for 2008. These are things that I found in 2008, so they're not necessarily the things that I use the most. But these are things that I found in 2008 that I definitely don't want to ever have to do without. So these are things that I'm definitely going to keep using on into 2009 and who knows however long. So I'm just going to show them to you, some of the things that I just think are really great products. Alright, so one of the things that I really like, Shine Happy. This is the coolest stuff ever. I have fallen in love with this stuff. It really works. So basically it's kind of like hair color but it only has a shiny coat. It's completely clear, so it won't color your hair at all. And it puts this really nice shiny coating on the outside of your hair that stays really shiny. And if you want to see the effects of it, I'm going to be posting on my blog some uh, pictures from when I did the first treatment. I've already gone through two. This will be my third one, which I think I'll probably be doing maybe next week. Um, and so I'll put those pictures on my blog so you can see, I don't have any like before and after, but I have first week, second week, third week. It's supposed to last six weeks, and I think I did all six weeks, but I'm not quite certain. And some of those are air dry, some of them are blow dry, some of the pictures are from flat ironing or curling and things like that. So you can kind of do a comparison as to what my hair looks like even when it's completely air dried and nothing is done to it other than putting in some leave-in conditioner, which brings me to my next product. I decided that I absolutely love the Chi Silk Infusion. I use it as a leave-in conditioner and as a heat protectant for my hair. I put it in my hair as soon as I get out of the shower, every time. I don't miss. I absolutely do not forget to put this in my hair. So even when you see me in my videos state that you should put in a heat protectant and you don't see me actually do it, it's because I did it right after I got out of the shower. So this stuff's really awesome and it doesn't... some, some of the leave-in conditioners that you can have, they make your hair feel weighed down or makes it look greasy, things like that, but this absolutely does not. It doesn't weigh your hair down, it doesn't look nasty, as long as you don't use like a whole cup of it. So yeah, really good stuff and it makes your hair look silky and shiny. It's great. Let's see. Another hair care product that I decided that I like a lot is this Curly Sexy Hair and curling spray. It sets the curl and it's specifically meant for heat styling. My hair is normally very, very stubborn when it comes to curling, but after I started using this, well, you can see here, my hair is curling much better and it's staying. So it has really good staying power and I really like the product and as soon as this one's run out, I'm definitely going to go and buy some more. Along the same lines is a hairspray. And I really like this Redken 09 Workforce. It's very flexible, and it says it here, flexible volumizing spray. I like it a lot because it doesn't make my hair sticky, and it doesn't make it stiff, but it holds. So I think there was a tutorial that I did with the modernized half up, half down hairdo, and I used the hairspray to keep my bangs back. I did the same in my sleek ponytail tutorial and I used this hairspray for it and it kept my bangs back the entire day but as soon as I took my hair down and I ran my fingers through my hair it didn't feel like there was hairspray in it at all. So it's really really great stuff. What else? Another hair product and along the same lines as not getting of not getting your hair sticky is this instantly thick. It's a Mark Anthony product. It's a volumizing mousse and you put it directly to your roots and then you massage it in. Usually when I use mousse products my hair gets really stiff and yucky and just all around not fun to touch. I like very touchable hair so I decided to try it because Ulta had a deal which was like buy one get one free and I have another Mark Anthony product here that I'll show you in a second. But I decided to try it, and I put it on my hair. First time I did it, I had just gotten out of the shower. I put on my chi silk infusion, and then I s put this on the roots of my hair, and I massaged it in. And then I went to bed, and I let my hair air dry. 
And when I woke up in the morning, I was expecting to have like, you know, hard, crusty sections of hair, which is what you usually get when you use a mousse product. But that's not what I got at all. I mean, it really felt like my hair had no product in it at all. And when I went to see my family that day, they were like, wow, what did you do to your hair? It's like really voluminous. And I was like, oh, well, I used this new volumizing mousse. And so it worked really well. And it was noticeably more volume because my hair likes to lie flat. So I try to find as many volumizing products as possible. And this one's pretty darn awesome. And like I said, I bought that. It's buy one, get one free with another, or I think it's buy one, get one half off, something like that. It was a while back. Another Mark Anthony product, and it's a intensive treatment for your hair. It's an intensive um, deep conditioner for the shower. So what I normally do is, after I shampoo and condition my hair, and I always condition my hair no matter what, I put this on, and I believe you leave it in for two minutes. Oh, it's only 30 seconds. You put this in your hair. The first time I used it, as I was rinsing my hair, it felt amazing. It was like silk through my fingers. And I was expecting that with my hair feeling that moisturized, that maybe the next day my hair was gonna really drag and be heavy and flat. But that wasn't the case at all. It was still really silky smooth. It looked like it was freshly washed, so I didn't get that greasy, heavy look that I was expecting from, from a conditioner that made my hair feel like, essentially, like it was still full of conditioner. You know how your hair is kind of slippery when it's got conditioner on it, and then when you rinse it out, it doesn't feel so slippery? But after using this stuff, even after rinsing it out, it's still... So, moving on from hair products, normally, when it comes to my skincare, I only use Exuviance products, so I use Exuviance cleanser, moisturizer, toner, eye cream, night cream, stuff like that. But the only thing that Exuviance doesn't have is a scrub for exfoliating. They have a mask, but I don't want to use a mask every day, so I wanted a scrub that I could use on a daily basis. And the first time I used this product, I felt noticeably smoother and brighter skin. And this is the Aveeno Skin Brightening Daily Scrub, so obviously brightening the skin was one of the side effects that is meant to happen. And I really like it. It's very gentle, so it doesn't hurt even though there are little beads basically scrubbing into your face. But it's, it's very gentle and I love anything with soy, so that's the other great thing about this product. And I really like it a lot and I'll, I'll continue to use it, so that's one thing I definitely like. This may seem kind of silly, but I've decided that I really love this eyelash curler. It's really neat. It's uh, from a Japanese store. It's from my favorite Japanese store, the Ichiban Kan store. I'm not sure if they still carry it. They just dropped a lot of their products. But this thing is super cool. It does a really great job. Let me see if I can show it to you. It does a really great job of curling eyelashes. See, you can even see the eyelashes right there. Can you see the difference? Yeah, see, these eyelashes are way up and these are... But anyway, this is really, really awesome. So with this curler, I don't even have to wear mascara on a daily basis. Sometimes I'll wear mascara, like if I'm wearing light colored eyeshadow, I want mascara to, to contrast the light colored eyeshadow. But on days when I'm wearing like a smoky eye or something like that, and it's in the daytime, not a nighttime thing, then I'll just curl the eyelashes and leave them be because they hold. They don't fall flat by the end of the day or anything like that. So this is a really cool eyelash curler. And I don't always like to wear mascara because then you have to take it off later that night And because I always use waterproof mascara. So sometimes it's a hassle to get it all out. So anyway, that's all I have for my box of great 2008 stuff. There are other products that I bought and other things that I tried, but these are the ones that I'm definitely going to keep and continue to use on through the years or whatever. So I just wanted to share those with you and maybe you can try them yourselves and let me know how they work for you. And hopefully you've learned something. And so happy new year and thanks for watching.